It was plain steamed horrible bread with flavourless egg. And I don't have to beg, borrow, steal some salt and pepper. And then uh, I think there was a choice. It was fried rubber bands, otherwise known as fried bihun. And we didn't have the uh, pleasure of having it cooked by all these uh, fine kitchens that supply mass meals. This uh, kind of meals is a lot of uh, concerns over health, nutrition. Uh, you have to balance between wants of the soldier and needs of a soldier. So there's a lot of thinking um, behind that one meal every soldier gets every day. I like back in my day it was just food, you know, meal time, makan. I mean you guys, uh, you guys get it good. You get chicken rice, you get a stewed chicken down here and the, the chili rocks and uh, the fried one time was good. But it's comforting to know that you go and suffer out there in the sun and you go back to a nice hearty meal. When SAF puts their meal suppliers to such a rigid thing, uh, you can minimum expect that quality. I think it's, it's way higher than it should be, yeah. Back in my day, I couldn't remember. That's how painful it is. <laughs> Today, I mean, it's so well thought of, man. Honey teriyaki chicken noodle. Tomato masak pasta chicken. Oh, this one good. Like green bean water chestnut dessert. See? Can you see the difference? Huh? Back in my day, I think it was just dog biscuits and oh, we call it kaupia. It was just dough and uh, flour and, and sugar, I guess. What are you eating? Nonya curry rice. How is it? Better than hawker. Uh? If they sell, I'll buy They actually smiled. So, not too bad, eh? I only can imagine what combat rations uh, is gonna be 10 years from now. But please do not go to burger or fried chicken root. Stick to something comforting because it's the DNA of this land. This is our culinary DNA of this land. They are treated this well from a culinary point of view. Uh. You know why they want to treat you so well? Because after all, you are soldiers. You're going to be growing up from boys to men. The transition should be the most fantastic era in your life. You've got to give it 200% because it is worth being a soldier. It is worth doing. And if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing it.